we are with the university professor dr igor chimortan international admission officer and faculty of uh, molecular biology so hi sir hi everyone i'm dr igor chimortan and i'm representing nikolai tsimitsano state university of medicine and pharmacy of the republic of moldova i'm head of the department of recruitment and documentation international students as well I'm teaching and I'm head of the Department of Molecular Biology and Human Genetics. I'm here to represent and to advertise our university in your area. Tell me more about the country, Moldova, and the university in Nikolai Tsimitsano State University of Medicine and Pharmacy. Well, our country, Republic of Moldova, is located in Eastern Europe. Basically, it's located between Romania and Ukraine. Its, uh, it's population is about uh, 3 million people. And uh, the main occupation of our people is agriculture, IT, and training of international and local students as well. Um, our country is a candidate country to become a member, full member of European Union. And we expect that by 2030, we will be full members uh, of the European Union. Okay. About university, um, so it's a radio university which has very good traditions in uh, training local and international students. It was created in 1945, so it means next year we will celebrate 80 years of very productive activity. We have very good experience in teaching students from all over the world, inclusive students from India. Talking about the NMC and WHO, ECFMG, WFME, all the accreditation, especially in India and across the world, uh, what about the accreditation for our university? Well, our university is only medical university in our country. Therefore, it has, first of all, local accreditation. So, besides that, uh, our university got international accreditation according to the standards of the World Federation of Medical Education. Okay. So, we got institutional accreditation in 2019 and program accreditation for three academic programs, Medicine, Dentistry and Pharmacy, in 2022. Uh, talking about uh, recognition of our um, uh, graduation certificate, uh, certificates, um, actually, as uh, we have international accreditation, they are recognized worldwide. It depends on regulation in each particular country. For example, in India, there are new regulations issued uh, in 2021, November 2021. Also, uh, the duration of the course is in frame with recommendation of NMC. Uh, after graduation, students graduate benefit of 12 months uh, clinical rotation and also the value of graduation documents issued to international students, including India students, is exactly the same as for local students. What about the practical education and the clinical rotation for the international students, especially Indian students? Uh, well, one of the strongest points of our university is the uh, exposure of the students to uh, clinical facilities. First of all, uh, first and second year students uh, benefit of uh, working with real cadavers, dead bodies, and they can learn directly, not on simulations only. Secondly, before going and meeting real patients, uh, students go through the biggest uh, simulation center in uh, Eastern Europe. They will have two types of activities. First, they learn how to communicate with patients uh, using so-called standard patients. After that, they learn different medical procedures on high fidelity mannequins. Uh, besides that, all clinical departments and all activities starting with the fourth year are done in hospitals and all clinical departments are located in hospitals. In such a way, when students go to any clinical subject, oncology, cardiology, pediatrics, is staying the entire day in the same place, in the same hospital. First is a lecture, after that is a seminar, after that is a test, and several hours spending with the patients in conversation and also talking to um, medical doctors who are available there. Besides that, there is a so-called summer internship or observership when students uh, have possibility to permanently to interact with patients and this observership could be done or in Moldova or in home country. Besides that, as I mentioned before, um, after graduation, there is a 12-month clinical rotation according to the standards of NMC. So the students, those who are studying abroad, you sh the main difficulty they are facing uh, related to their accommodation as well as food. So may I know how uh, USMF is dealing with this issue? 
Well, uh, University provides hostel accommodation, and uh, we are proud to say that we have separate uh, dormitories for boys and for girls. That was in accordance with our negotiations with the embassy and the uh, request of the Indian parents as well. Um, and the hostel facility includes also uh, cooking facilities, and students use these facilities as well. And in uh, the campus, there are several Indian restaurants, Indian mess, where students can uh, eat uh, um, that food which they uh, accommodated. Oh, that's a great thing. Yeah. After completion of the educational program, the students actually wish to uh, work all over the world. So for the Indian students, what are the opportunities available in Europe as well as English speaking countries and the worldwide? So may I know how US, USMF is contributing on this? Uh, well, uh, as I said before, the graduation documents issued by the university uh, have the same value for international and for local students as well. So therefore, the opportunities are very huge. First of all, students can come back to India because our university follows the NMC recommendations. Besides that, students can stay in Moldova, uh, be employed or continue their education as usually happens uh, in post-graduation in a specific specialty or in PhD, doing their uh, scientific research. Also, our diploma is recognized in Europe, in the UK, in the US, but in most cases it is necessary to um, pass or an internship or um, any uh, exams. So, university provides facilities for um, the coaching, um, and actually it's not university itself, but our partners, but students um, have the possibility to prepare for different tests, like uh, FMG, uh, PLAB, USMLE, and so on. Last but not the least, may I know the message that you have to give to the upcoming batch or the, those who wish to join USMF uh, for the medical program? Dear candidates, I'm here to represent Nikolai Testimitsano, State University of Medicine and Pharmacy of the Republic of Moldova. Our university has full facilities to ensure modern training in the field of medicine, dentistry and pharmacy as well. The most important is a clinical environment where our students are trained. Welcome to our university. Thank you so much sir, for the time you spend for to get the more details about the university and country, which is very helpful for the student, upcoming students to study medicine in Moldova. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.